Alright, we're back on. <coughs> yes! <coughs> Two schools, one trophy, dozens of sad parents. It's the 2016 McCormick County Spelling Bee. Clarence, as a former MCSB spelling champ, what advice can you give the kids today? Well, my dad always said, bend your knees, lock your elbows, arms straight. Clarence, that's golf. Same thing. Welcome back to the final round of the sixth annual Spelling Bee between defending champions St. Peter Johan Academy versus the challenging learning facility 4597. This is exciting, Clarence. Johan Academy has won for the past six years. Do you think facility can finally take it this year? Well, the big thing is, how badly do you want it, Nina? Mm -hmm. And the year after year, the white kids just want it more. Clarence, there are more than just white kids at Johan Academy. When you have as many minorities as I have fingers on my hand, that's tokenism. Mm -hmm. Doesn't the Johan Academy music just make your heart smooth? I don't know what that means, but no. Makes me want to order a coffin for my nana. Mmm, love me some Kendrick. Helps me to focus before my book club. <clears throat> Who picked the music for these schools? The announcer, I believe. I think the announcer's racist. First contestant, please approach. Your word is door. Did he just say door? I believe so. Not even Dumbledore, just door. What kind of prep school kid don't know how to spell door? Door. Can you use it in a sentence? I slammed the door shut on that mailman's foot. That's oddly specific. Door. D O O R E. Door. Oh. Tough break, Max. Let's go to the instant replay. Um, you see, that's where he screwed up. Um, assuming the silent E would be there. I'm doing this for free, and we have instant replay. Next student, please. Your word is racineer. Racineer. Why did he emphasize the R like that? He may have had a stroke. That's how my first husband went. Why do I feel like that is not true? Raisonier. R-A-I-S-O-N-N-E-U-R. Raisonier. Oh, she got it. Uh, um, uh, and the next student, please. Mm, SMS. So sad. SMS? Soccer mom syndrome. Look at that little white girl. She don't want to be here. She's doing it for her mama. That smile just screams. Just give me another cracker, mama. Please. Your word is basketball. Can I get it in a sentence, please? Tyrone is in college on a basketball scholarship. Wait, what? Basketball. B-A-S-S-K-E-T-B-A-L-L. -S -S -E basketball. Next student, please. Noreen Rice. She used to live down the street from me. What a nice girl. Oh, that's nice, Clarence. Until she became a hug. <gasps> Clarence! She offered to give me a gummy hug behind oh, the auditorium. That's... What's a gummy hug? I'll tell you later. Your word is lugubrious. Can I, like, have it in a sentence? Ashley looked lugubrious after she found out the bag had oregano in it. Lugubrious. L U G B E B R I U S E. Lugubrious. Oh. I'm dead inside. Next student, please. Oh, and here comes newcomer Gordon Smith. Now, Clarence, interesting fact Gordon learned how to read the dictionary before he could walk. Where'd this kid come from? He wasn't in the other rounds. I think he was late parking. Hmm. Is he all right in the head? He's special. We're ready. Nina, I've met less terrifying crack dealers. Your word is puppy. You 
use it in a sentence. Puppy fighting, while still illegal, is cuter than dog fighting. Can we do a background check on this kid? Clarence. No, like, for real. My dog Jeffrey went missing like a month ago. Puppy. C. T. H. U. L. U. Cthulhu will devour you. We were just being told that, indeed, Gordon Smith wasn't a student at Yohan Academy, but an escapee from the town's mental care facility. Can, can someone talk to that little white boy about my dog, Jeffrey? Final student, please. Thank goodness. This is exciting, Clarence. All Jimmy Zinn has to do is answer the next word correctly, and she will win the grand prize. Nina. There's an old man picking pretzel crumbs out of his beard in the third row. I don't think they care anymore. Your final word is <laughs> fastidious. Fastidious. F-A-S-T-I-D-I-O-U-S. Fastidious. <laughs> Jane Austen all day. Wait a second, everyone. Can we get a ruling on that? Wait, ruling? Hey, yeah, you over there. You're racist. I am not racist. You are totally racist. I bet you, you're that one guy who talks about his one black friend. Hmm? For your information, I have two. You met them both at Starbucks, right? It was a Dunkin' Donuts. Don't worry, the Bradsters here and everywhere. Where is everybody? Oh, is it over? Oh, I thought I'd make it in time. All right, I'll spell my own word. Uh, awesome. B-R-A-D-S-T-E-R. Let me hear the birds sing. Somebody get Nailed security. It. You want to grab a bite? What'd you have in mind? I don't know. Maybe Chinese? Want a gummy hug? What is that? Ooh. This is Nina Hopper signing off. Hurry up. Okay, and once again, America has proven that their stereotypes are 100% true. But hey, what are you going to do when you're about to elect a Nazi for president, 13-year-olds are using Tinder, and we're going downhill. This is Clarence saying, good night. <laughs>